हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल डॉक्टर तपतीज प्रेजेंटेशन मासा डॉक्टर तपती वाजते एंजाइम्स एज बायो कैटलिस्ट ऑफर न्यूमरस एडवांटेजेस ओवर ट्रेडिशनल केमिकल प्रोसेसेस दे आर वाइडली यूज्ड इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स फॉर इंप्रूविंग प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड फॉर इकोनॉमिक बेनिफिट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू ट्रेवेन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एंजाइम हैज बीन ग्रुप्ड इनटू फोर ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज नेमली therapeutic uses analytical uses manipulative uses and industrial uses today in this video i'm going to talk about therapeutic uses of enzymes let's start the presentation on the topic therapeutic uses of enzymes kindly stay till end of this video i'm going to explain this topic in a different way i hope you will like it already you know that enzymes are extremely selective biocatalysts synthesized by living cells enzymes possess specificity greater affinity and high catalytic efficiency they are required for many chemical interconversions that support life and speed up all the biochemical processes in the living body these inter characteristics distinguish them from all other types of drugs due to these characteristics enzymes are widely used medically either alone or along with other therapies with the purpose of treatment of various diseases very safely biologically active enzymes may be extracted from any living organisms including microorganisms animal and plant over a half of the industrially useful enzymes are obtained from fungi and yeast and over a third are from bacteria with the remainder divided between animal and plant sources that means microorganisms are the primary sources of industrial enzymes medically important enzymes produced by microorganisms have the advantages of being economically feasible and consistent they have high yields and are easy for product modification and optimization they are also popular due to their easy upstream and downstream processing genetic modification of microorganisms is comparatively easy enzymes play crucial roles in the pharmaceutical industry the applicability of enzymes in the pharmaceutical industry ranges from nutraceuticals disease diagnosis enzyme replacement therapy or ert drug synthesis and treatments of various diseases being part of food or nutraceutical enzymes deliver health benefits by preventing and curing diseases an important aspect of pharmaceutical enzymes is they are used in disease diagnosis through various means including enzyme based immunoassays enzyme based biosensors etc enzyme replacement therapy or ert is a medical treatment which replaces an enzyme that is deficient or absent in the body usually this is done by giving the patient an intravenous infusion of a solution containing the enzyme ert is available for some lysosomal storage diseases like gaucher disease febrile disease mps1 mps2 mps6 pomp disease etc and adenosine deaminase deficiency severe combined immunodeficiency that means adscid ert does not correct the underlying genetic defect but it increases the concentration of the enzyme that the patient is lacking the pharmaceutical industry also utilizes enzyme based green chemistry for the synthesis of pharmaceutically important compounds such as enantiopure drugs and the production of antibiotics like penicillin enzymes are utilized for the treatments of various diseases including cancer diabetes and genetic disorders and issues relating to the cardiovascular and gastrointestinal systems etc as i told you enzymes are used for the treatment of various diseases including cancer infectious diseases uh, genetic disorders clotting diabetes gastrointestinal diseases damage tissue treatment cardiovascular diseases gout cyanide poisoning etc let's know names of few therapeutic enzymes and their uses in the treatments of various diseases enzymes used for the treatment of cancer act generally as pro drug activator and anti neoplastic enzymes pro drug means a pharmacologically inactive substance that is converted in the body into a active drug 
whereas antineoplastic means inhibiting the growth and spread of neoplasms or malignant cells. Most useful enzymes for the treatment of cancer are arginase, asparaginase, glutaminase, and arenases. Certain tumors like malignant melanoma and hepatocellular carcinoma are oxotropic for arginine. Pigylated arginine deaminase, that means ADIPEG20, is a novel anti cancer enzyme. PEG uh, or pigylated means pigylation is a pathway that connects the uh, polyethylene glycol, that means PEG. PEG chains with protein, peptides, or other molecules. ADIPEG20, it is uh, an arginine degrading enzyme, that means arginase enzyme. It can inhibit human melanoma and hepatocellular carcinomas. They are oxotropic for arginine owing to a lack of arginosuccinate synthetase activity. Recently, another pigylated enzyme that is onkespar or pegasparagase already in use in the cleaning. It has shown better results for the treatment of children with newly diagnosed standard risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia than the native bacterial asparginase. Antibody directed enzyme prodrug therapy that is ADEPT illustrates a further application of enzymes as therapeutic agents in cancer. A monoclonal antibody carries an enzyme specifically to cancer cells where the enzyme activates a prodrug destroying cancer cells but not normal cells. This approach is being utilized to discover and develop a class of cancer therapeutics based on tumor targeted enzymes that activate prodrugs. The targeted enzyme product therapy, that means TEPT, platform involving enzymes with antibody like uh, targeting domains, will also be used in this effort. Enzyme therapy not only is a safer alternative to antibiotics, but it will automatically lower the number of bacterial or fungal resistant strains. Enzymes used for the treatment of infectious diseases act as antibacterial, anti protozoa, or anti fungi agents. Lysozyme is used as a naturally occurring antibacterial agent in many foods and consumer products because of its ability to break carbohydrate chains in the cell wall of bacteria. It has also shown to possess activity against HIV because it has RNAs A and urinary RNAs U, which selectively degrade viral RNA, opening some exciting possibilities for the treatment of HIV infection. Other naturally occurring antimicrobial agents are the chitinases as an element of the cell wall of various pathogenic organisms including fungi, protozoa and helminthes. Chitin is a good target for antimicrobials. Many ribonucleases or RNases are able to inhibit the reproduction of virus in uh, infected cell cultures and laboratory animals but the molecular mechanisms of their antiviral activity remain unclear. Enzymes are used for the treatment of various inherited diseases or genetic disorders including Gaucher disease, febrile disease, MPS1, MPS2, MPS6, POMP disease, cystic fibrosis, phenylketonuria, and severe combined immunodeficiency. Lysosomal storage diseases or LSDS comprise a group of rare inherited chron uh, chronic syndromes that cause deficiency of specific native enzymes within the lysosomes. These are inborn errors of metabolism characterized by the accumulation of substrates in excess in various organs. They cause dysfunction of those organs where they accumulate and contribute to great morbidity and mortality. This table is showing various lysosomal storage diseases, uh, their defective enzymes, materials stored, and major organ systems affected. If you consider about the Gaucher disease, in that case, defective enzyme is beta glucosidase. For febrile disease, it is alpha galactosidase. For MPS1, it is iduronidase. For MPS2, it is iduronate 2 sulfatase. 
for MPS6, it is uh, acryl sulfate is B, whereas for pump uh, disease, it is beta glucosidase. Ferides or aglucerides injection for the treatment of Gaucher disease was the first enzyme replacement therapy in which an exogenous enzyme was targeted to its correct compartment within the body. Recombinant DNA technology subsequently allowed the more efficient production of a glucosero bio, uh, sorry, glucosero brosidase. Ferides or imiglucerides uh, it was approved in 1994. This medical as well as uh, financial success uh, has paved the way for other enzyme therapies, in particularly those for the LSDS. Now, enzyme replacement therapies for at least three mucopolysaccharide MPA storage disorders are currently under investigation. A phase three clinical trial of aldurazine or uh, uh, lironidase enzyme replacement therapy for MPS1 was recently completed and it is uh, awaiting approval in the US and Europe. Adenosine deaminase uh, deficiency severe deficient severe combined immunodeficiency that means ADA-SCID is caused by mutations in the uh, adenosine deaminase uh, gene or ADA gene which result in absent or very low levels of the enzyme ADA or adenosine deaminase, lack of the ADA enzyme causes a buildup of toxic substance known as deoxyadenosine. Adagen or PEGA damage used for the treatment of SCID. It represents the first successful application of an enzyme therapy for an inherited disease. This enzyme cleaves the excess adenosine present in the circulation of these patients and uh, reduces the toxicity of the immune system of the elevated adenosine levels. Phenylase is an investigational enzyme substitution therapy currently being evaluated in preclinical studies for the treatment of severe phenylketonuria or PKU. Sacrosidase is an uh, enzyme replacement therapy used for the treatment of congenital sucrase isomaltase deficiency or CSID. Procoagulant and uh, anticoagulant reactions play an important role in the regulation of thrombin formation during secondary hemostasis. Urokinase plasminogen activator is a serine protease that specifically cleaves the proenzyme or zymogen plasminogen to form the active enzyme plasmin. Urokinase is used to treat blood clots in the lungs. Streptokinase is a thrombolytic agent that is highly effective in its ability to lyse fibrin clots and restore blood flow to ischemic tissue. It is used to break down clots in some cases of myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism and arterial thromboembolism. Staphylokinase is a plasminogen activator protein that is secreted by many Staphylococcus aureus strains. Let's know name of the enzyme used for the treatment of diabetes. Creon is a digestive enzyme. It has lipase activity. It was reported that after six months of creon treatment, patients achieved better control of diabetes, improvement in nutrition, and overall improvement in quality of life. Various digestive enzymes are used for the treatment of gastrointestinal diseases. Uh, name of the enzymes are peptide disease, lactase, amylase, and uh, prolyl endopeptide disease or PEPs. PEPs or prolyl uh, endopeptide diseases are a group of serine proteases that break down proline remnants in peptides. Recently, PEPs have been evaluated as a possible therapy for celiac disease because of their capacity for enhance the degradation of uh, gluten peptides in the gut. Celiac disease is a multifunctional disease uh, featured by an inflammatory response to ingested gluten in the small intestine. Gluten peptides reach in proline and glutamine. Therefore, uh, prolyl endopeptidases are very important enzyme used for the treatment of celiac disease. Let's know names of the enzymes used for the treatment of damaged tissue. First of all, vibrilase. Vibrilase is a proteolytic enzyme from Vibrio proteolyticus, that is a bacteria. Now, it was found to be uh, effective for the removal of dead skin of burns. Second enzyme is 
chondroitinase which is uh, useful in conditions where there is an increase in the level of chondroitin sulfate proteoglycans csvgs namely spinal cord injury vitreous attachment and cancer third enzyme is hyaluronidase uh, it is an enzyme that breaks down hyaluronic acid it has long been used to increase the absorption of drugs into tissue and to reduce tissue damage in cases of extravasation of a drug now know few other enzymes names for the treatment of cardiovascular disease gout cyanide poisoning if you consider about the nachokinase it is an enzyme that comes uh, from a japanese fermented food called nacho it is considered to be a safe powerful low cost and all natural supplement for the treatment of heart and cardiovascular disease uric acid is an enzyme that degrades uric acid it can be used to treat diseases such as uh, gout hyperuricemia and osteoporosis rhodinase is a mitochondrial enzyme that detoxifies cyanide by converting it to thiocyanate that's all about uh, therapeutic enzymes used for the treatment of various diseases thank you very much for watching this video kindly like share and subscribe this channel don't forget to subscribe to get further notification take care bye bye